Time in these camps entrenches the belief that the international community can simply never do enough to alleviate these conditions. To me, this linked, and you'll begin to see my argument now, linked um, very deeply into a dichotomy between economic solutions and political problems. Wondrous facilities work under extremely difficult conditions. Healthcare professionals in clinics see scores of patients every day, and um, schools operate on a double shift basis, with boys and girls attending in rotating shifts of the morning and the afternoon. The special hardship cases are quite simply the most desperate of Wundra's beneficiaries. And these are families who live in extreme poverty and the criteria is they don't have an active breadwinner. In the Bush camp, a visit to two such families, for me, um, revealed some of this situation's many tragic ironies. In the first camp, um, in a series of two dank, dark rooms, a family of ten was lighted. Now, as a Western researcher, um, one of the first things that jumps out is family planning. It's the way forward. Uh, however, like most assumptions that I think people make in this field, it was immediately challenged. Minutes later, in a single room down the road where a bucket served as the toilet, I was confronted with the experience of a single elderly woman who had not had a family and therefore had no one to assist her. Now, this camp is often referred to by the UNRWA staff as a hot zone. It's feared that conflict could be sparked in, in the community here. This is obviously a constant concern in the broader politics of Lebanon itself. But I think in terms of the Palestinian camps, there is a mixture of fear of the historical Palestinian role in Lebanon's, politi in Lebanon's politics, and it's also a reflection of the drama of the, the current moment inside Lebanon.